Yeah. So good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, tonight's Trumla presentation with um, Russell Sell talking about Utheme Pro 2. Um, well, um, uh, good to see a number of people here. Uh, many of you, I think, still came through the uh, various individual meetup groups um, for Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. Um, you would have got an announcement, uh, I think, or the Canberra people said did. Um, I think we've mentioned a few times now, but we've now set up a Joomla AU uh, meetup group so that we can um, combine uh, event announcements for all of Australia um, and also do a bit of housekeeping. Um, even though the three uh, city groups all have about 300 to 350 members, um, we regularly only see about 20 of those during the course of um, a month to month meeting if it's a busy week, a uh, busy month, I should say. Um, and we've, um, we've set up the new one to try and sort of re reinvigorate that list. Uh, and that's been growing um, quickly already. Uh, oh, sorry, my phone's just going. <laughs> um, so the first little housekeeping item is a, uh, a quick walkthrough of what the Joomla side awards are going to entail. So I'll hand over to Jeff for a minute and uh, he can give you a quick rundown of that. Very quick. We just, um, today we put forward an announcement and you'll see that around the place now. We're going to try and get that out everywhere we can through the course of the rest of this week. We are also waiting for some graphics to be done so I can post with graphics as well. Uh, about the side awards, three out of five judges are definitely confirmed in now. Um, I've got one of their, what the judge expects. I think this was, oh no, this was an idea from the other, um, the Australia uh, side awards. But one good thing they had, they had a little, um, paragraph from each judge saying what they think a good site is to them when they're judging. So you will see um, these snippets from each judge coming up as they arrive. Um, that doesn't stop you submitting already. You can have a look at the categories that are up there now. The categories will be in the announcement as well. Sorry, what was that? No. Um, so... The five categories are up there. Um, they are a little bit different to last year, but we've tried to be all um, encompassing and allow people to be able to submit their sites into the category they think they best suit. Um, one of the rules set at the moment is that a particular site can only be submitted into two categories. Now you can submit as many sites as you like, but each site cannot be submitted uh, like one site cannot be submitted into multiple categories, all five categories, for instance. Um, that's one of the requests from the judges as well, because they don't think if you're putting your site forward, you're putting it forward for a particular reason. Now, you may think it both suits design and SEO, for instance, so you'll pick out two categories that are going to highlight that for you. Um, but, and if you want to resubmit, you can resubmit as many sites as you like, but so if you have 10 sites, feel free to submit 10 individual sites. So the only con uh, restriction would be the categories for a site, not the number of sites that you actually submit. So I guess one way of looking at that is you can pick your best five sites for each category and just submit a, a site for each category and see how you go. Um, can, I just ask, can I just ask Jeff something about yeah, that? Please. I, think I, I think I'm a bit unclear. I, and I like what you've just said. I like, I like that rule that you could uh, choose two different categories. But, but as I'm looking at the web page, it's talking about community, e-commerce, right, marketing. Yep. And, but, but you're saying SEO and things. Oh, like sorry. That was just, no, that's sorry, Mick. Correct. That was just off the head for me. I'm not looking at the categories at the moment. Ah, all right. The all categories, right. the five are there. The reason we've broken them up like that community um, there are people who do quite good work out there, for instance, and it's all volunteer and they might do their bike club or they're doing their men's shed or they're doing something similar. That's why we've got the community one, for instance. That's basically what the community is about when you see that category for community. I quite like that. That's, it's probably going to be, uh, 
generally they're going to be lower budget projects. So it's it's right. nice that they're grouped together. Um, oranges right. and oranges. That's cool. That's right. Cool. They won't be competing with agencies who have separate designers and everything else. Right, right. That's true. That cuts them out of there. Cool. Um, the best overall. Oh, the other thing to come out of the announcement may not be on there at the moment. If you haven't seen the announcement, is we're going to actually have the virtual award ceremony still. We haven't fine-tuned how that's actually going to take place, and I'm hoping I can get one of the international judges to actually present. The reason being to keep it independent. Yeah. Um, and that way I won't even know, or Carly, the two I was involved in, you, Mick, won't know who the winners are in each category before they're actually announced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that can, keeps it completely independent. Um, yeah, and apart from that, I mean, obviously for agencies, and there's advantage there. It's worked out good. I mean, I've got two jobs back from this year from just having this on a customer's site, for instance, the badges that we won from last year. So I'd like to see a bigger growth this year. And I've got a lot more scrapings I've done and so on. I'm working on what Mick did last year that I didn't finish doing. Uh, so hopefully the word will get out because it's amazing how many Joomla developers are out there and um, yeah, they're not part of any community. So therefore they don't know what's going on in the Joomla world. Mm. They just work on their own. Yeah, we've got to get, get the advertisement out for this thing onto yep. uh, Joomla Stack Exchange as well. Do you have... Um yeah, the ad that's the ad that's been done first is the one for Joomla Stack Exchange. <coughs> oh, cool. All right. Um, and as soon as Carly's got that one done, I'm getting all the um, the criteria for all the different social marker. I've already given the sizing for it. So she'll be doing them up as well and we'll be able to submit all them as well. Then there's the LinkedIn group. Yeah, there's heaps of places it's got to go out to yet, but um, we'll be doing that all this week and as quick as we can. And anybody who's has anywhere they think they can put it, by all means, just give us a shout on the email or um, across Skype and um, I'll get you what you need to submit it. Jeff, can I just ask another question about um, last year we had uh, pretty strict uh, rules about the minimum uh, versions of things that you had to be in. I don't see that in the details. Are you, are you relaxing that this year? Not so relaxed common sense rules, mm -hmm. but... Having said same common sense, we are going to be spelling out the common sense as well. We're just trying to get everything out so that we don't have to do so much rejection. Be a lot yeah. nicer if people can read through. Um, <laughs> if you're not sure, ask at this stage um, until we've actually got that part of the notes up about, you know, <coughs> what is acceptable. Acceptable will be, for instance, I mean, it should be updated um, site, for instance. Um, one of our judges, that's one of his pet hates, for instance, is a site that's not updated. Unless the Joomla version isn't updated. The Joomla version, yes. Oh, yeah. And also PHP that goes with the Joomla version. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what, about, what about submitting WordPress sites this year? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, that was Drupal last year. But yes, Drupal, um, I think we'll be spelling that out because obviously it wasn't quite clear last year neither. And it nearly got through, which was worse on our case. <laughs> Rookies. That would have been very embarrassing had that made it to the international judges. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so um, everything, we've got a sponsor on board, so there's no cost involved to anyone submitting sites, so don't let that hold you back. Like I said, because we've got that community area that Mick mentioned earlier, um, the looks of your site's not the only thing that's involved. If you've got a, a community site and it's serving a purpose and that, the purpose of that site will also be looked at and how effective you are in serving that um, particular community. So oh, right. there's another okay. good reason. So, yeah, okay, so each, you're saying, are you saying that each category might have different focus groups? It will. Uh, uh, focus groups, very clever, I like that. Cool, cool. That and the weighted, and we're trying to weight the judges on their strengths so that they, so that judging itself when it comes in will be equal. Have you told us who the judges are? The three uh, of the five I have, yet? they'll be up there and they're, they're listed. Oh, four of the five, I think, are up there at the moment. Where are they listed? Side awards, meet the judges. Side awards up the top and then go come down from there to the meet our judges, I think it is from memory. Uh, yep, yep. I'm getting there. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, it's just what? one's missing and I'm trying to fill that gap, which is the person who did SEO, because SEO is part of the marking criteria for obvious reasons, very important these days. Um, and I've gone once again across to the States and across to uh, UK and so on and Europe. Um, People I've um, got in LinkedIn connected with me through the SEO area. 
and just asking who he was going to volunteer. I've got a couple of hands up, so we're just trying to sort out who's going to be the best out of them and the most available. Nice. So and that's about not, it. They're not specifically a Joomla person then? They're just no, the they, they don't have to be Joomla. They yep. just have to be all SEO oriented yep. because the strength area of theirs is going to be the SEO. Yeah. Yep. doesn't matter of the platform. Um, all the Java judges, of course, are Joomla related or at least know about it. I mean, um, Jessica, for instance, at the moment is now connected with a different CMS she works for. Yeah, but obviously, as you know, she's been part of the um, yeah, backbone for a long time. So she's still and still loves Joomla mm. and still uses Joomla herself. So oh, good. you've answered that. I was going to contact her and ask her whether she still uses it the other day. So. Yep. And I saw she was using Concrete Fire. Yes, no, she still does. <laughs> yep. A job's um, a job. That's that's yeah, that is the, the point there. So, um, good. Welcome to a few more faces that have uh, joined us since we um, started the side awards presentation. There, um, I'll, I'll wind you up now, Jeff. Um, I was just about to say I'm finished. Yeah, <laughs> you managed to fill that ten minutes nicely. So thank you. Um, so uh, the the administrative.